<laughs> now, I want to get uh, get on to the ABC and uh, something's been brought to my attention that uh, uh, has been uttered by the chair of the ABC, Kim Williams. He's the new guy who's supposed to sort out all the bias issues. And he was speaking at a public function about the Coalition's nuclear energy policy. And he said back in his day, you'd have a proper green paper, white paper process. Yeah, Kim, that's if you're in government. He says they've done the, the policy process all wrong. And here he is here. He says, to announce something as a soundbite with no detail, no detail as to emissions targets. And, look, I'm not being political. I'm not being in any way speaking for the ABC, he says. <laughs> I'm speaking as an Australian citizen and I'm entitled. You bet you are like any Australian citizen, to have a view as to the necessity of good public policy in our nation. And the Coalition's nuclear plan, plan would seem to be absent. Many of the constitutional elements that are absolutely core to the announcement of an execution of important policy initiatives. Rather wordy there, uh, Tim, and, and very, uh, <laughs> very valid, uh, of course, but you've got to be in government to do these uh, green paper, white paper processes, Kim Williams. But the other point that just stands out like the proverbial to me, Tim is that he doesn't mind Labor has some ramshackle renewables, plug it in here, build a solar farm here, let's get some transmission over your farm. No one has to have a proper policy and a cost-benefit analysis for that. It's only the Coalition's policy he puts under any scrutiny. There's absolutely that. Um, it's, a, it's a very one-sided uh, level of sort of criticism that everyone on the left is sort of guilty of. But I would say this about, uh, about Mr Williams and, uh, and the ABC... Uh, because there's great controversy surrounding this, that he's you know he's, he's been seen to to be violating the um the the rules as they stand about not being biased or so on or, or giving some sort of evidence of political bias. There's an easy way to solve it: privatise the whole thing. Then you don't have to worry about the government being involved. You don't have to worry about you know appearing before Senate estimates committees every second week. You can just be an entity that says whatever you want. And as well, I'd, I'd counsel Kim Williams to stop talking like he's in a Charles Dickens novel and maybe communicate to Australians on a level that all of us can understand. Jesus Christ. Oh, gee, I, 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 look, you know, he's a very smart man. I've, I've met Kim Williams mm. a couple of times. There's no doubt he's a very smart and accomplished man. But, Mark, the way to try and convince people that the organising you're running, the organisation you're running is not as biased to the green left as everybody argues, is not to go into a public forum and start slamming the coalition on the sort of totemic green left issue of climate policy. On, on pure procedure as well. <laughs> on, like, no, no, real no politics. On pure procedure. Look, yeah, no, no real politics. Definitely not a politic. I didn't get told by a lawyer to say that exactly. But we all knew that he was uh, ideologically rigid. We all knew he was left, even though he hadn't come out and said it. We could tell by the glasses. You can tell. <laughs> that's, that's a left-leaning set of glasses, 100%. The perfectly circular glasses. Um, yeah, look, he's, he's obviously not a journalist, but you're right. Fellas, it's 100% right. When uh, when the rot's all the way to the top, it, it just it sends a really bad message as an institution yeah. um, to be saying things like this. So uh, just keep uh, your mouth shut. Just I, keep I love your assessment there. The criticism is just on procedure. Yeah, the procedure's not complicated enough. You haven't made it bureaucratic enough. Dang it, <laughs> yeah. dang it, you're just talking about reliable, affordable energy. Why not complicate it a bit? <laughs> Um, now, the great news out of the ABC. My phone's going nuts here. Everyone around the country wants to text me this story. I don't know why they think I've got an interest in it. But they've just announced that Paul Barry won't be hosting Media Watch uh, after the end of this year, which, uh, which I think is something. He had to retire at some stage. I would have thought 10 years ago might have been the go. And he's by no means the worst host of Media Watch they've ever had. And, Tim, no doubt they'll just be casting the net far and wide now for another old pommy lefty to start bashing News Corp every Monday night. But why don't they just keep recycling them? I mean, you know, Philip Adams quit or retired or whatever, and uh, he got replaced by David Maher. So just keep going around the old white guys. I mean, they're still alive. There's that. <laughs> also, I noticed that uh, Paul Barry started... Um, Started pushing the envelope a little, talking about ABC and its, you know, its rules and regulations, and <laughs> and uh, he he started lashing out, I think, as well about about nuclear issues over the weekend, and added that you know I might be in for some counselling. So, yeah, he's brave on the way out, Chris. He's very brave on the way out. <laughs> he's going to swing loose on the way out, no doubt. He'll even have a few digs at the ABC over the rest of the year. That's when he's not uh, tearing uh, wings off flies, Mark, or uh, or pinning ants <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> Well, you should throw your hat in the ring, Chris. One of us should try and go uh, to be the head of Media Watch. We could do it. We could have a crack. That'd be fun. Oh, this is it here. 
this is it here. The three of us, we could do it on a rotational basis. It's only a 15-minute <laughs> show. You could do it at half the price three he was charging. Men. Three white men. <laughs> <laughs> three white men. That's the solution, Chris, yeah. of course. See you no evil. See, it's coming in. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. That'll be us.